I'm so proud of this movie and it's the best thing I've ever done. And I'm blessed to have read that book and to have met you and to have done this movie. Blessed. I'm just glad you sang Coal Miner's Daughter. <laughs> yeah, thanks to you. That was your idea. <laughs> that was it. That was the song. It had to be that song. <laughs> Who else would do Coal Miner's Daughter when you're stripping? <laughs> <laughs> that was your High idea. Five. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> you were a warrior. I knew that. I was like, yeah. okay, this bitch is fearless. She'll do what it takes. And <laughs> yeah, thank you. Because I underestimated the power of this character. And uh, she it's was ironic, a suffering right? spirit. Yeah. She was a suffering spirit, yeah. and uh, so pain came inside me, and uh, also evil at times, and uh, but suffering mostly, and uh, the, the spirit went inside me. And then it, uh, after the movie, it wouldn't leave me. It stayed there for a long, long time. Uh, I was uh, really possessed, yes, is the right word. And you know what is so beautiful about our union? And this movie is that it is proven by the screening that cinema and literature is eternal and it will survive us. And when we're long gone, 50 years, maybe a kid, 14 years old, 15 years old, going to film school, he finds this film and it means something and it will open a door to this kid. And that's why we make art every day. Everything was so crazy that nobody paid attention to me because I was so invited, like why I was arguing. Yeah, I know. Everybody always wondered why you were arguing. Something we, we've given both you and me in the movie totally ourselves with. And let me tell you, I've been in movies since, for almost 30 years. And the magic that happened during this movie, good or evil magic, was everything was real and everybody was touched by it in a good or a bad way. Yeah, it can get out of hand. When I had a horrible childhood too, that's why I projected myself into this. And I wanted, I wanted to save the child, your child. And I wanted you to free you from the suffering child with the movie. And that's why I was so at attentive to details I, uh, because I wanted it to be like seeing again your childhood, but being liberated from it. That was my mission. JT doesn't exist, but he lives. And that's what a, a famous historian said about uh, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> but I've learned so much. And I thank you for this light that we carry here. Um, I, I really wish I, I could be there tonight because it would be cosmic retribution for everything we went through. It wasn't easy what we did. Uh, you know, this movie, your, JT's book, your book. I'm so proud of this movie. And uh, I'm so proud of you for everything you've done. You were bold to choose the path that you did. You're a real artist, Laura. You're a real artist. I've met very few in this life.